What we're seeing in Nigeria today is part of that story. It's a tragedy that we are watching. It's a tragedy that we are all witnessing. Because as we see things falling apart, the pressure this time is not foreign colonialism, forgive me. The pressure instead is corruption and violence and attempts at control. And that's why I totally agree with my honourable friend, the member for Edmonton. We need to call out the corruption. We need to use the powers that we have in this country to stop those who are profiting from the wealth of that great nation and hiding it here. Now, some people will remember when General Gowan left Nigeria with half the central bank, so it is said, and moved to London. We know that today, even, even now, in this great city of ours, there are, sadly, some people who have taken from the Nigerian people and hidden their ill-gotten gains here. We know that our banks, sadly, have been used for that profit and for that illegal transfer of assets. And that means that the UK is in an almost unique position in being able to actually do something to really exert pressure on those who have robbed the Nigerian people. Now, this puts a particular onus on the minister, and I know my right hon. friend knows it, that using Magnitsky sanctions today isn't just about protecting Nigeria, although it is. It's not just about respecting Nigerian young people who have been robbed and murdered by these SARS units. It's actually about protecting the United Kingdom. Because what happens in Nigeria matters fundamentally to us here. This is the third country of the Commonwealth. This is a country of 200 million people. It is going to be the great economic powerhouse of Africa and one of the great economic powerhouses of the world. This is a country whose wealth, not just in the oil off the river state, but in the imagination of cre and creativity of its people, is witnessed every day in Nollywood, and perhaps more my style, at the great University of Joss. This is a country that gives so much to the world already, despite the fact that it is ill-governed, brutalized, and robbed. Just imagine what it could give if the Plateau State 